environment and climate change is uh, a global issue at the moment and the world is slowly waking up to it. Now the aviation industry is redesigning its technology based on environmental compatibility. Earlier it was more on uh, focused on fuel economy, uh, profits, profits for the airline by saving fuel or for the manufacturer. Uh, but now everything is environmental parameters rather than economic parameters. Water is basically a combustion byproduct uh, in any kind of fuel burn. It is uh, released as a vapor. So uh, when you are flying at high altitudes, this water when it is uh, released out of the exhaust, it just freezes or condenses into a cloud. Now this is called an artificial cirrus cloud and it creates global warming. We are working on uh, contrail free air engines. So the invention is a device that condenses the water vapor out of the uh, exhaust emissions into liquid water. And then it can carry it on board uh, on the aircraft uh, and release it just prior to landing. It's uh, designed as a turbo machinery. It's, it's also a first attempt to create water on an engine and then to carry that water on an aircraft. So this project is ahead of its time. I started this in England, but then after the birth of my daughter, I moved back and I started working with my father on this project. And my father was very supportive about it. And uh, so we always had this environment at home. We aim to create value, a business value for all the market players. And also the airlines can be involved in selling water and rainfall. I was advised by a lot of people. So they uh, encouraged me to apply for Karandas as well because they said that it's uh, the supporting women-led enterprises and women-led technology enterprises as well. Of course, once this is developed, there would be a certain amount of income coming in. Uh, so that income would be, uh, it's like a foreign exchange coming for the country, okay, and for the in inventor and the workers and the company. When it is released, it would be around um, 3,500 uh, engines using this technology and uh, with the kind of revenue that the engine industry generates you can imagine the growth and the potential.